Well, the work on this began back in 1966 and 1967 when we made some discoveries about tiny details of how people move the tongue, lips, and jaw that would allow them to generate fluent speech. And gradually, through a series of what we call behavior analyses, we began to identify a whole subset of movements involving various sounds in our language, vowels, consonants, various classes of consonants. And we began to identify the movement details that allowed people who stuttered to generate fluent speech. Gradually, we learned how to assemble these into the correct training sequences with the goal of making it explicit to people what they did in order to generate fluent speech. The real goal is to make therapy as friendly, as comfortable, and as doable as possible. I think there's very little evidence uh, to support the idea that stuttering is an emotionally based disorder. I think almost certainly emotions help inflame stuttering, but it would appear as if stuttering is caused by other physical factors that reside within the person. We've had uh, just over 4,700 people go through the program here uh, over the last 29 years. Um, we've had people uh, from, I think, uh, 23 different countries speaking some 14 different languages. And uh, as long as their English was good enough to serve as the basis for instruction, we could develop the fluency skills in English and then add target behaviors to the sound structures uh, for the different languages, and they could then use these skills in their native tongues.